Sometimes the idea of creating a presentation from scratch can be a bit daunting. Where do you start? What text should you include? What color should you use? What theme should you apply? A template might be just what you need to begin designing an eye-catching presentation quickly and easily. A template is a pre-formatted presentation that combines coordinated style layouts, sample text, graphics, transitions, a theme, and more. Once a template is used, you may personalize your presentation by modifying text or any of the elements, as well as by adding, deleting, or rearranging slides. Because templates affect nearly every visual aspect of a presentation, they can only be applied when you create a presentation. PowerPoint has provided a variety of templates from which you can choose. Some come installed with PowerPoint, while a larger assortment are available on Microsoft Office Online. They address a wide range of topics that pertain to business and education and include items such as charts, diagrams, calendars, awards, sales steps, and multiplication tables. You need to create a presentation to be given to new teachers at your school. You don't have a lot of time to design the presentation, so you'll use a template. We already have a blank presentation open, but we'd rather use a template to create our slideshow. In order to create a new show, we need to use the File tab to access the Backstage view. Now we can reveal the New tab. When we installed PowerPoint, a few templates were also installed. This section also displays a number of the template options available at Office.com. While these templates may come in handy later, right now let's take a look at what is already installed on our computer. We can find this in Sample Templates. The presentation we are creating is for new teachers, so let's look at the options available and choose a template. The training template looks like it's exactly what we need. Let's select it. Based on the preview in the far right section, this template looks like it will be perfect for us. We'll use the Create button to apply this template to a new presentation. This looks great! Notice the new slides in the Slides tab. Each slide has coordinating colors, text, and graphic elements. Although it's difficult to see, they also have placeholders with standard text explaining how to use the elements of the template. The text in these placeholders is designed to be replaced. In fact, let's try inserting some of our own text now. We'll begin by selecting all of the text in the title placeholder. Now we will enter the title for this slideshow, New Teacher Orientation. That was easy. When we are ready to work on the presentation, we can replace the subtitle text as well. For now, let's take a look at some of the other slides and see how they work. This slide serves as an overview slide for the presentation. If you look in the Slides tab, you'll see a gray bar that says Overview and Objectives. This bar is a section marker, indicating that the slides below are in the Overview and Objective section. Sections are simply groups of slides organized by topic, making it easier to create, manage, and collaborate on large presentations. Now let's move to the next slide in this section. Slide 3 is another example of how to create an overview slide. This slide contains a transition that flows into slide 4 and then into slide 5, as indicated by the note in the Notes pane. Let's take a look at the transitions between these slides to see how they would work as an overview. Notice that our presentation started from slide 3, the slide we were on. To advance to the next slide, we can simply click the mouse button over the slide.
That transition swiped the slide to the left. Did you see how the swirl at the top of slide 3 blended right into slide 4? Now let's watch how slide 4 moves into slide 5. As we can see, arranging the three overview slides into a series of transitions can be more engaging than one static overview slide. Now let's see how PowerPoint makes the transition to the next slide. This slide contains a graphic called an animation that moves into place. There are many more examples of transitions and animations in this presentation, but we aren't going to look at all of them right now. Instead, let's use the escape key to exit slideshow view and return to normal view. The benefit of a template is that you don't have to take the time to design transitions, animations, and graphics from scratch. Templates also give you ideas for how to use graphics and other elements in your presentation. Let's take a brief look through some of the other slide types available in this template. If you look at slide 9, you'll see that it is the first slide under topic 1. Slide 9 is a section header slide, which is simply a slide that introduces a new section. Now let's take a closer look at some of the graphic elements available. Slide 10 contains a two-content placeholder, which means there is room for a title and two sections of content. In this case, there is a chart and a picture. Eventually, we will want to change the data for the chart, replace the picture, and then continue adding our own content to the other slides. However, for now, let's just save the work we have already done. We are already in the folder we need, so let's go ahead and save this presentation with the file name PowerPoint has suggested. Using a template is an efficient way to create a presentation without going through all of the work of coordinating colors and graphics, formatting placeholders, and adding animation effects manually. If you ever need help customizing a template, remember that there are tips and suggestions in the notes pane on each slide. If you're looking for a way to save time without sacrificing creativity, a template is the way to go.